Now this analysis with just one factor was relatively easy to set up in jump. That is, we went to analyze, fit model, took our rating as the y, took both of our factors, one that's a random effect and one that's a fixed effect, put them both as our model effect terms, and then marked the judge as a random effect under attributes. That was actually all we had to do, and I recommended you turn the emphasis to minimal report, but that was in fact optional. Now, as we get to more complicated models, and we'll see some in the next module, we will have to do more if we want to use the fit model dialog window to set up those models. As a way to make this easier, I've actually written an add-in that I want to point you to now and let's actually play around with. If you actually go to Google and just search jump full factorial repeated measures, you'll get to it right away. It's the full factorial repeated measures add-in that's available on the jump user community. Now what this add-in will do, and you can simply download it at the bottom here, and I'll point this out in a little bit more detail in the next module. But what this add-in will let you do is, without setting up the terms in fit model, it will generate the actual model terms and run the analysis. So I want to show you how it looks when we do the exact same thing, but using the add-in. So I have it already installed under my add-ins menu. It's under repeated measures for me and full factorial design. So what this will do is bring up a different type of dialog window. This will in fact use fit model, but this dialog and the scripting behind it will actually generate all the model terms and do all the analysis setup for you. So all you have to do for this dialog window is put in what you're trying to predict. In this case, our Y response is rating. We'll designate our within subject factors. Remember a within subject factor is whatever is repeated within subject or measured multiple times for your multiple subjects. In this case, we only have one, which is wine. Our data set doesn't include any between subject factors. We don't have something like gender or expertise or something else that is measured between or across the different subjects. Notice that that is optional. And finally, we have to put in a subject ID. Our subject ID is judge here. It's what identifies the different judges. Now when we do this, this add-in will actually develop the identical model that we just created manually using fit model. Notice that all the terms will match. I've actually already hidden the parameter estimates and random effect predictions because I don't think they're typically necessary for most analyses. But here we get the same fixed effects table. We actually get the same effect details. Everything here is actually the same. It's just that we didn't have to go through the process of setting up the dialogue using fit model. But again, this actually does invoke fit model. So it's doing the identical analysis, just setting up the model terms on our behalf. So going forward, I'll be using this add-in exclusively for fitting these repeated measures models. I'll have other videos available if you would like to see how to use the fit model dialog to set up more complicated models, but don't feel like you need to watch these additional videos. That add-in will take you through all the repeated measures analyses you need to run, and you really end up at the same place. In the fit model dialog, you're simply setting up the terms manually, and that's what the add-in is doing for you. At the end, you're still getting the same fit model output, so you have just as many options once the model has been fit.